evening folks and welcome to this review of my Hamilton PSR which is a brand new LED digital watch from year 2020. So I'm going to start with a question, I'll show you just quickly the <laughs> watch I'm talking. Um, why is Hamilton bringing out a reissue of the Pulsar P2 of 1973? Well I think the first answer is to cash in on the trend for reissues. So the Bulova have uh, reissued the Computron LED watch. Uh, Timex have reissued the LCA, which is a LCD digital watch. So it's very much on trend at the moment. And um, But why a Pulsar? Well, um, to celebrate the first mass for market digital watch, a bit of an argument about exactly which is the first digital watch, but certainly the P1 and the P was solid gold version. The P2 was the first mass market digital watch. And the module in the P2 was actually made by Hamilton and they had owned the Pulsar name back then, but they sold it to Seiko um, in the late 70s or um, early 80s. I'm not quite sure exactly when that was. So it's got the same shape as the uh, Pulsar P2, even down to the fact that the button isn't in the middle, sort of top to bottom of the case, it's up near the top. So that's um, echoing the, a feature of the original watch. Um, it says Hamilton there rather than Pulsar. Um, but yes, it's got this uh, delightful um, LED display. I do like LED watches. They're not very practical. Um, however, this one does overcome the practicality issues that you get with the um, LED watches. Um, so a couple of differences from the original. Um, the case back is different and the bracelet is different, although the case is very similar and the shape of the bracelet is, it looks very similar. Um, the original bracelet had folded links. This has got solid links um, and they're very nicely engineered actually. When you resize the strap, you'll realize that because you take out the, um, the center pin and there's actually, it goes through a roller in there, which helps reduce wear. It's got a double um, deployant clasp there rather than the original would have had um, a fold over clasp, which actually held the setting magnets um, inside. So they were set with a magnet and you had some dim dimples on the back there where you press the magnet and it would adjust the time on the watch. I'm going to show you that in a little while on a, not a, a, a Pulsar from the t same period, um, but I do have an Omega time computer too. So this um, was basically Omega recased the um, Hamilton module um, back in 1974, this one is. Uh, so yeah, it's an LED watch, and as I said, the back of the hem of the pulsars and the omegas look like this. You've got these indentations for setting, and you hold um, there's a magnet here on the clasp, the fold over clasp. Let's put that down a second. That you used for um, press up, press it up against there to set that. I've got a video about how you do that, so you can see that one if you want to. Um, that one's got the time and seconds, running seconds, and the date as well, which is jolly useful. Uh, whereas this one, echoing the P, original P2, um, has just got the time and the running seconds there. And an interesting feature of this, um, if you let the seconds go over the minute mark, like that, uh, yeah, at the, at the minute mark, it goes back to um, the LCD display of the time. So that's the feature of this watch, one of the, big, one of the two big advantages of the modern version. Um, even when the when you're not pressing the button, you can still just about see the time because it has got a, an LCD display as well as an LED display. And um, so, yeah, you can see that it has actually got a clear crystal, as you can see there, whereas um, the originals had a sort of ruby coloured crystal. But this has got a clear crystal. Um, so presumably some sort of red film on there to give it the red colour. And then the LED which is actually an OLED, which is organic LED, slightly different technology, is on top of the LCD because when you press it, the numbers are actually slightly bigger and they appear to be above it. Um, so yeah, a nice feature. And that dot matrix is so evocative of the original. Just see them side by side there. Yeah, I mean that, in my view, but, uh, Hamilton and the only one that really pulled off this LED reissue because they've got the look of the LEDs right. A lot of the other reissues have much fatter LED segments, whereas the originals uh, never had those. So on the back, 
Uh, so the case back is different. On the back, you've got this. This is actually an engraving of a pulsar. So a pulsar is a fast rotating star that emits uh, electromagnetic waves from its uh, poles and magnetic poles. Um, and they, they uh, effectively flash or beep regularly. And um, so that's an ideal way to measure the passing of time. I'm changing my notes there. To, to set the um, PSR, you press the button in for five seconds and then you can set the various, oh, I'll just set it forward, ones there, and then you hold it in for two seconds and then it'll change it to the, you're changing the tens of minutes there and then another two seconds, and you're changing the minutes, another two seconds, you can reset the seconds. And then you press it again and it's uh, it's reset so it works well it hasn't got the magnets which is a nice feature of the originals but it works okay um the other big advantage of this watch is it's 100 meters water resistant which the originals never were um and i think those two things you know the lcd display combined with the water resistance and the the, the fact it combines both types of displays is just is absolutely brilliant because it overcomes the main problem of the LED watch, which is you have to press a button to see the time. Um, so you get the best of both worlds there. So in summary, what to make of the PSR? Is it just an expensive novelty um, or is it something more than that? And I think it is actually something more than that. If you think about a mechanical watch, that is basically a very well executed um, iteration of an outdated technology. And that is exactly what this watch is. It's really, really well done, much better than any one other LED recreation on the market that I've seen. Um, they've, re they've really done well with this. Um, the innovations they put in it are genuinely useful um, and it's, it's just practical to use. But I would love <laughs> that second button and a date feature. That's the one thing I would change about this watch. Um, but yeah, I have been wearing it an awful lot since I got it. I, I do like my LEDs and this one just makes it so much more practical to wear. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this uh, longer video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it and see you soon. Cheerio.